Hello, today I am going to be doing a Christmas gift guide for any book covers in your life. I'm going to be showing you some books I think would make great gifts. These beautiful editions of Christmassy fairy tales. This is the fir tree, it's got absolutely gorgeous end papers and illustrations throughout the pages in like an art deco style. The Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Chris Riddell. This is an absolutely gorgeous hardback. It's got a picture underneath in a sort of iridescent see-through cover. And throughout it's done in black and white and gold illustrations. And it's a retelling of Sleeping Beauty with a bit of a twist. Mistletoe and Murder by Robin Stevens. Over the Christmas holidays when they're away from their boarding school and these girl detectives have to try and solve a mystery in the college so it's very Christmassy and also quite dark and murdery I'd recommend this for about nine plus but really any age can read these I really enjoy these and I pre-order every single one and it's signed by Robin who's very lovely bad girls throughout history lots of biographies of feminist strong women throughout history with these beautiful artistic illustrations of I really like this one of Marie Antoinette uh, and it's just a really nice way to learn more about women who you might not necessarily have heard of but which really deserve a place in history like uh, we have Rachel Carson an American marine biologist Next up we have The Bailey's Winner for the Year, The Power by Naomi Alderman. This is great for anyone who is a fan of The Handmaid's Tale TV series by Margaret Atwood and is looking for more books to read in a similar vein. Waterstones are also doing some beautiful special editions of this which you might like to look for if you want something a bit more fancy than just a paperback. And again, and again I got this one signed at Edinburgh Book Festival because I was appearing on the same day as Naomi and she was really cool. Uh, another one, this is Homegrown by Yagyasi. This is uh, another beautiful book. Two African sisters who are uh, meet different fates. One is sold into slavery and taken to America and one marries the slave trader and stays in Africa and it follows their, boat, their descendants throughout the generations until they meet again. And it's a really interesting look at what history was taken away from the African people who were taken to America and lost all sense of national identity. 